Hi everyone. 안녕하세요. Nice to meet you. 반갑습니다. 만나서 반가워요. I am Haley. 저는 Haley예요. 만나서 반갑습니다. Nice to meet you. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the Hangul, the Korean alphabet, and I will tell you about the two truths about the Hangul. This video is really short and informative, so check it out, okay? So let's start. Uh, before we go on, you have to know the Korean language and the Korean alphabet. The Korean language we called Hangul. Hangugo is Korean language. So if you meet someone who is really good at Korean, you can say, oh, she's good at Korean. And then you can say, she is good. Wow, you are good at Hangugo. You can speak Hangugo very well, like this. So this is Korean. But the Korean language, Hangugo, is based on the Korean alphabet, right? The what is Korean alphabet? The Korean alphabet is called Hangul. Hangul. So Hangul, you can write like this: Hangul. 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 So Hangul is Korean alphabet. So uh, in I think like two or three, like four videos will be uh, uh, related to the Hangul. So after we learn about the Hangul, then we go on to the Korean language, okay? Yeah. And so what, are, what is the first truth about the Korean Hangul? Hangul was created by King Sejong. Who is Sejong? In the 15th century, uh, we are in the Joseon dynasty not Republic of Korea. It was Joseon dynasty. And then um, a, there was a, the most, the most, one of the most um, generous and smart king in Joseon dynasty. His name was King Sejong. King Sejong. Yeah, so uh, at the time, there is only few people can read and write. And the other people, the most of the people, they're illiterate. They cannot write, they cannot read. It was hard. Because that time, the characters are based on the Chinese characters. So for the royal people, it's they have time so they can learn, they can go to school. But uh, most of the people, they're, they, they cannot, uh, they're not really educated in the characters, like writing and reading. So they cannot do. But the King Sejong thought it, it would be very nice if the most of the people learn alphabet and then can read and write. So King Sejong made Hangul for the Joseon Dynasty people. Yeah. And then right now it's so it's really scientific and then it's really effective. So we still using it. Yeah, that was the first truth about the Hangul. And let's go on to the second. So what is second? There are 14 consonants and 10 verb, uh, vowels in Hangul. There are 14 consonants and 10 vowels. So uh, only with that, we can combinate, like there is a combination between the vowels and then uh, com consonants, and then they made one syllable block. So it's basically, it, it's very different from the English and Korean. Let's see. For example, if I write love in English, it's love, right? But in Korea, we say 사랑. 사랑. And then this is a one block. This is a one block. This is a combination of one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three. There's a many combinations of one syllable. So uh, I'll tell you those kind of things in the later videos. But in today's video, I'll end in these after, like end with this. 
and this will help you when you're learning the Korean the Hangul later on. So in the next video, I'm going to tell you about the bowls. Okay, so thank you guys. 감사합니다. And see you next time. 다음 시간에 만나요. Bye bye. 안녕히 계세요.